Okay, so there are people who doubt my previous video on how to fix the Fallout 4 endless loading screen. Now, I've already gone through and backed up what I need to, so I'm just going to go ahead and say this. If you go through and try to verify the catch on Fallout 4 through the usual method of, oh, just verify integrity of games, I'm, I can't really do that since I have action running, but that will not work. And I'm being honest, that will not work. So, how do you fix this? Well, there are two ways this could be caused. I know how to fix one of them. I don't know how to fully fix the other. I know the issue, though. So I'm going to go over the one I don't know first. Now, the primary issue is, this cannot be fixed by verifying Steam catch either, is... In the data, in the videos, the intro video, for some reason, it is written in a Russian format. I don't know why. Well, at least I believe it's the video. I may be incorrect there. I personally have not looked into how to fix this issue, like I said. But I know what the issue is. Now, the other means is sometimes the saves on your game will be corrupted by mods. As in, yes, your endless modding spree has come back to bite you. Now, this is one of the cases where Bethesda kind of makes it a little hard of a fix if you don't know what you're doing. Because these saves, as you notice here, are not located in the same directory as Fallout 4. It is located in a directory in the Documents section of your computer. This little directory contains your saves and the Fallout settings created on the first boot of the game. I'm just going to go through and delete them. Then I'm going to go through and delete this file. Oh, not what I wanted to do, but... Delete. There we go. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to launch Fallout 4 and you notice it immediately does this. Lower this. You see Fallout 4 is recreated. Here. Fallout 4 any is there. When you hit OK, it creates another file. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to change this to windowed, borderless. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a border. This way I can move it. Go go ahead and let it start. Now I do not have any mods enabled right now. And if I hit new firm. Now, one of the ways people have fixed this previously is ironically by putting it into a windowed mode, so this is another way. This doesn't work. There's something up. Hmm. Sometimes it takes a little bit to load and you just don't realize it, so you're actually putting yourself in your own little issue. So I'm going to give it about five minutes to load. I will try to speed this up on the actual YouTube editor. So. I'm going to go through and make a timer for this. Because if it doesn't load in the five minutes I specify, then there's something wrong. Five zero zero. No, delete. Start. Oh, no, there it goes. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that's one of the means to fix it. Quit and return to the main menu, yes. Exit saves disabled because it's the beginning. Now I'm going to go through and... Okay, so I can't enable mods for some reason. Ignore that email, it's just a placeholder email. But, yeah. Now I'm going to use a 
force method to sort of uh, enable all the mods again. I'm gonna have to kill the game though. I'll have to figure out my email and all that shit later. Yes. Nexus, it's a great means of adding mods to your games. Now, as you can see here, you can see all the mods I have. I'm just going to enable every mod. And like I said, sometimes it is the mods themselves that cause the issues. Watch. Yes. Funny little story will we wait. My first time installing Windows 10, that little uh, alert menu, whenever it popped up, it would not give me the choice. It would not even open the window itself, so... That's not normal. Okay. Oh no, it's doing this. Okay. Okay, as you can see here. here. Just make sure. Once more, give it a uh, five minute timer. As I've stated previously, this method is not 100% guaranteed to work, so... In some cases, it can literally just be the full screen that does it, so I guess we're going through and testing the full screen here. Okay, you see there, it works. War never changes. You're gonna... Okay. Kill it. Desktop. Yep. Anyways, yes, that is one of the me one of the means to fix Fallout 4. Will it work every time? No, it will not. Is it at least a means of fixing it? Yes. Now, I didn't go through and discover this means from the internet or look at all this shit. Whenever I f when I found this first, I found it on my own. So I can honestly say, Verify a Catch will not do it. This is mainly just to go through and show the exact steps, so yeah. <laughs> 